off to Reggie Bush, who loses his hat and lost the football. But they're going to say touchdown, Buffalo. Ruling on the field is a touchdown. And now we've got some pushing and shoving going on, some heavy pushing and shoving going on after the play, and flags come flying from everywhere. And Reggie Bush's helmet has been tossed to the 25-yard line. So they're saying that Reggie Bush broke the plane of the goal line before he lost the football. Take a look. Good effort by Reggie Bush. He goes down there as the ball comes across the goal line, and that's how he lost the football. I don't know if the knee was down though before the. And has been the head coach of two other teams on a on a fill-in basis. And that is over the middle, caught by Witten, who loses his helmet but still keeps going. A penalty marker is down, and Witten takes it to the five-yard line. Jason Witten. In a play that you're going to see replayed a lot of times this week, losing his helmet. And taking it all the way to the five yard line. For and then to get hit and lose your hat and keep running without your hat. Ooh. And he, he took, I mean, that is a real blow that, that he took to his helmet head to head. And then he kept running. He's looking, he's looking to the outside. He's looking behind him. Whoa, that, that is a whap. But you know, when you can do that, then you're, you're a tough football player. I'm not sure I've ever seen a guy, I can't remember a guy running that far without his helmet. First and 10 at the 30-yard line of Cincinnati. A-Rod takes back to throw. A-Rod in the pocket, wings the right side. A yeah. juggling grab is yeah. by Jones. Breaks the tackle, loses his helmet. Down the right sideline to the end zone. Touchdown! James Jones! Hey, Wayne, that was fairly manly. Delta O'Neill and Marvin White sandwiched him. Popped the helmet that was, off his head. That was fairly manly. He James Jones. breaks the tackle and goes 30 yards for the first score of the night. That was sweet. I'm pretty selective. I don't have so many of them that I consider super, but I consider Marion Motley super. see a player go down and try to protect themselves watch this helmet comes off there and Shockey still going and looking for contact he is a beauty <laughs> and he likes it too picked up five yards third and short coming up back to that Shockey play yeah I mean this is this is what he brings. I mean, he's obviously, it's well said. He's, he's emotional. He's fiery. He's competitive. The 23 yard line, Tanner again to the outside. And without his helmet, he has to go down. Though once the helmet comes off, it's not like it used to be with Jason Witten. That's oh, all you think boy. about. The helmet comes off, the play is over. Remember, Witten had that spectacular run after he made the catch. And now the official goes over and he says, sorry, the helmet's off, the play is over. And for obvious reasons, but boy, this is too bad. What an effort. And it's not My like. rule this year, when the helmet of a runner comes off, the ball is dead at that spot. There's an illegal shift, two players moving at the same time, offense. The five-yard penalty, still third down. And that's what you love to see in a young player. He has kept fighting all night long, helmet comes off, I guarantee you the defense was still playing. Arkin got a little shot down the field. That one will be remembered by Jason Garrett and company. 
Well, it's so much fun for me to watch these second halves of these games.